what we're doing right now is we're evacuating the system, which, you know, primarily that's removing the air, non condensable gases out of the system. But the big thing we're removing is the moisture. And that's going to take some time. We've been pulling the vacuum for about an hour right now. And I can tell there's still a little moisture in the system. So we got to keep pulling. You know, prior to this, we had nitrogen. We pressure tested it. So we know there's no leaks in the system. So now we've just got to, you know, evacuate and get the moisture out of it. And that, that's critical in these systems because moisture is what kills AC systems. Yeah. So it's real important you do this. It's, uh, it's an Australian sourced system. You know, Mike Fletcher of Australia provided it. And yes, I, as far as I know, I'm the first U.S. customer of this system. So I've been working with Mike. We've been going over some design improvements. So yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the guinea pig. <laughs> this is a scroll compressor, which you know, I, I'll refer you to Mike's. He explains it better. We've got the external alternator on the other side, and the, which is also supplied by Mike out of Australia. And he provides, you know, all the mounting hardware comes with, you know, he provides a good kit. All the, you know, this, all the blue, this pulley here was provided by Mike as well. This, the alternator you can get standalone mm -hmm. as a kit and you can put it on the other side. You know, I mean, most U.S. Uh, sling TSIs are installed on this side where my compressor is sitting. But there's also an option, just a compressor kit, with this exact same pulley. If you want an external alternator, put it on the other side and you can forego the cow the cow modifications and do that. Then you go back, you know, right behind the fire wall, we got, you know, an evaporator. Which, you know, I've been, there's been concerns about, you know, serviceability of this. So the key is to make sure you install it, everything's working and reliable. And just you know, hope, it never, hope it doesn't ever break, but that goes with it. Um, yeah, it's just a standard. Uh, also, it's got a, it's got a different heater core in this. And that's worth noting, too. There's a, this is not the sling standard heater core. This aircraft came with the exhaust with the exhaust heat. I retained the original heater core design. And to go along with that, Mike included a, a, a higher efficiency heater core to go with this. But along with that, I mean, you look down in here, yeah, this is still in the service. RS Flight Systems also provided a uh, thermostat. So I'm installing a coolant thermostat. So that'll also should help the improvement of the heat in the wind quite a bit. Nice. So that's there's another I think it, especially in North America is probably new. I think I've heard a lot of people in the UK and Europe use this on their systems. Okay. So I got turned on that for Mike as well. So I'm doing the thermostat as well. And this one I don't know if it's officially available yet in the US, but you know I've been working with Mike, working with Doug here at Custom Aircraft Builders is more than cooperative to help me put the system in. I'm, so yeah hopefully this you know, going forward this a good product for everyone else and hopefully all the bugs are worked out by the time I'm finished. <laughs>